applaud uh, yourself and the ranking member for um, you know doing the hard blocking and tackling that it takes to, to actually move a bill on a bipartisan basis. And obviously, um, this is an uh, issue we, we had a hearing on last year, and which uh, should be probably about the lowest hanging fruit in terms of uh, health care reform, in terms of dealing with this you know, very um, concrete issue that uh, everybody understands is unacceptable in terms of what's happening to patients out there. As long as we're comparing notes in terms of different states, uh, I would just share with you that in the state of Connecticut, uh, the legislature uh, passed a uh, uh, surprise billing legislation that is a benchmark system. Um, it isn't exactly the same benchmark that's used in the, in the compromise here today, but basically it, uh, the way it works is that if there's a, a disputed uh, surprise bill, reimbursement for uh, emergency services in particular is uh, set at the highest of three. Uh, the Medicare rate, the in-network rate, or 80 percentile Fair Health Database, which is an uh, index that is done by a nonprofit across the country. And uh, it, is, it is more generous than uh, in-network uh, reimbursement, but it is clearly a benchmark, and um, it has been operating, again, with state-regulated uh, health insurance plans with no pushback in terms of the provider community and certainly none of the negative consequences that we've heard here in terms of, you know, um, impact on healthcare workforce or, you know, hospital solvency uh, that's happening here. So, again, I, I think the, um, the notion that a benchmark system is inherently going to be damaging to the, to the um, access of care and healthcare um, Professions, uh, I think we have specific examples, whether it's California, which my colleague Ms. Davis described, or uh, Connecticut, that actually shows, um, uh, in fact, it, it can work. And I would just also note that, um, you know, last night we did hear from a lot of patient groups who are hardly stooges of the insurance industry, like Families USA, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, National Consumers League, uh, Public Citizen. Uh, and consumer reports that all endorse the compromise that we're uh, about to, to vote on here today. So they, these are groups that represent patients. They, they care about health care access. They care about uh, quality of health care. And, and they have looked at this compromise and determined that, in fact, it did strike a, a, a solid balance in terms of making sure that um, we're going to protect patients from surprise billing. We're going to give some uh, safety valve for higher uh, cost bills in terms of going through the arbitration process, but that we can have a clean benchmark system that simplifies the, the way to resolve this system without turning it into baseball arbitration uh, in, you know, really countless numbers of, of instances. So again, I, I support the uh, amendment in nature of substitute and again, salute uh, the, the compromise that uh, the, our leaders on, on both sides of the aisle have worked out in this and I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you. Others wish to be heard? 